Hi Cancer, this is your monthly August 2020 tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Check out the channel featured video for more details on that. This first spread is on one card per time period in August. It could be a personal situation or something that's important to you that you're dealing with. So the first card is for August 1st through August 10th. We've got the 601s. This is a card of a victory. This is a card of a success. Back in the day, this card was called the proposal card. So don't be surprised if somebody proposes you something. <laughs> um, but overall, you'll be feeling victorious. You'll feel like you've won at something. And uh, the second card is for August 11th through August 20th. We've got the Seven of Cups. This is a card of confusion. This is a card of you being frustrated with something or someone. Or this is a card of multiple choice or a choice in general, you'll be facing something that you'll need to uh, make a decision about. And the third card is for August 21st through August uh, 31st. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of waiting. Uh, so you'll be waiting for something or you'll be waiting for someone. Um, it could be about work, business, finances, or all about love. The good thing about this card is that some work has already been done. Um, something is um, starting to unfold, you're starting to implement some kind of a plan into action and you're just waiting for uh, it to um, unfold, you're waiting for something to come to you but the work has already been done. Let's talk about new love in August for you Cancer. We've got the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, then we also have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Cups and we have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. This is uh, a bit tricky here. So let's uh, take a look at what we've got. So the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Something is coming to an end and somebody is walking away from something or someone. You could be walking away from this Queen of Pentacles, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody else could be walking away from this Earth sign, the Queen of Pentacles, to start something with you. It's also possible that uh, somebody is walking away from someone. If uh, we're talking about you, actually, you could be walking away from something or someone to start something new with this Queen of Pentacles. So this could go both ways. The main point here is that we've got the Three of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. So um, whatever it is you're leaving behind, you'll end up with someone you're going to be in love with. That's the good news. The Three of Pentacles is you uh, building something from the ground up uh, with this new love. And, the person that we see in the Two of Cups. Uh, and the Two of Cups is um, soulmate, unconditional love. Whenever I see the Two of Cups, I always think of uh, two people on the same page and uh, the feelings are mutual there. So it's a bit tricky, but something is definitely coming to an end. Somebody is walking away uh, and somebody is walking away to start something with you. It could be this uh, Queen of Pentacles that you're walking away from or you're walking towards this Queen of Pentacles at some point during the month. Um, so um, leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you. Cancer, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person or this new situation, and we'll get an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Cancer, if you are already in a relationship or if you're already married, this spread is for you. We've got the Five of Swords clarified by death. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. So I think the bad period between you and your significant other is coming to an end. If you've been fighting or if you get into a fight, then that's going to become a thing of the past real quick. If somebody decides to walk away from this relationship or from this marriage, then they will quickly change their mind 
and they will come back very quickly because we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles is uh, all about marriage or a committed relationship, very stable and abundant one, and the Eight of Wands is all about communication. Um, some people call the Eight of Wands the Cupid's Arrows card. So if somebody, if you get into a fight, then uh, this per your significant other will communicate with you and tell you, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I still love you. Can we please get back together? Can everything go back to normal? And perhaps this whole uh, thing that's been going on in the world is kind of getting to us, but um, I think you'll quickly come to your senses and realize that this is still your person and it's going to be your person forever and ever. We've got the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is uh, the sword that cuts all that crap out of your life that's been going on. This is the sword that uh, represents the truth and the new beginning. Right? Uh, the swords, the sword also represents um, you being very direct about the feelings or you just, like I said, cutting cutting it all out. You will realize that um, whatever's been going on in your relationship is uh, not good. You need to cut all the negativity out and have this uh, beginning or continuation of your relationship. Uh, the sword will also stabilize your relationship. That's for some reason the way I see it. So um, yeah, you have a very healthy trend here. You're leaving some shit behind. You're leaving what's, what, what was not serving your relationship behind and you are moving forward together. Your relationship will go back to normal. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this month. Uh, keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, maybe five years ago. We don't know. We've got the Three of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, then we have the King of Swords, then the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So yeah, the, most likely this is this Air Sign, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius who had the aha uh -huh moment, that's what we see in the hangman. They've been thinking about it, they've been contemplating and they finally realize that you're the one for them after all. <laughs> and uh, they want to reunite with you, that's what uh, the Three of Cups here is all about. And um, we have the Four of Swords, I think that is you, either not being interested in uh, anything at, at the uh, at this particular point of your life or you're just taking a break from something or you're taking a break from someone you're just you just mind your own business uh, you're doing your cancer thing and here comes this uh, king of swords and I think you're gonna be walking towards this king of swords you're gonna be leaving that um, stable <laughs> uninterrupted uh, way of life you had before this person uh, showed up. So perhaps you were single and you weren't really uh, looking into uh, dating or looking at any other options, but when this person does come back around, they will most likely persuade you to get back together. That's what I'm thinking here. Because you're living that, um, you know, calm, easy life behind and you're moving towards you're living your single days behind and you're moving towards this king of swords but again uh, this is um, a free will is always at play you'll have to make a decision but I think this king of swords got something for you that uh, will interest in you they could make you an offer that you wouldn't be able to resist because they did have this aha moment um, the hangman in this particular case could also mean that they are willing to sacrifice something for you. And that could be very appealing to you. But like I said, it will most likely be up to you whether you want to uh, reconcile with this person or not. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, Cancer, in August. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> the very first thing I thought of when I saw this part is that you'll be balancing bef between your work and your family. So, but both are 
happy places. <laughs> Both are something that give you benefits, that give you um, happiness and abundance. Because we've got 10 and 10. The 10 of Pentacles is most likely your workplace, the place where you make your money, and the 10 of Cups is the place of love. This is your home, this is your family, and the 6 of Pentacles in this case is you balancing between one and the other. Also, it just it could represent complete happiness. You've got money coming in. you got so much money and finances coming in that will be extremely happy. It will make your life better. It will make your family extremely happy. Right? <laughs> this is actually a pretty good spread. So, um, if you're worried about the money or your finances or your work, your business, then you should stop worrying about it. But don't let this discourage you. Don't just sit there and wait for it to come down, to come to you, to drop on your lap. You will probably have to do something about it, but as long as you um, stay in course, you'll be fine. All right, cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the advice for you for this month. We've got the Seven of Swords clarified by the Knight of Cups. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Six of Wands. I think the Queen of Cups in the spread is you. This is one of your cards, Cancer, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. I'm a bit concerned with the Seven of Swords here, and it's clarified by the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, a card of a deception, or a card of somebody who walked away, who ran away <laughs> at some point in the past. And I think this person who ran away from you, who left you in the dust, is coming back around with this very emotional and actually sincere offer. The Knight of Cups usually represents someone who means it, someone who's got deep, uh, genuine emotions for you. So if this person does come back around and offers you to uh, reconcile, if it wasn't anything too dramatic, if they did not actually cheat on you, if they perhaps had cold feet or ran away from you, then I think the advice here is to give this person another shot. Because if you do, then you'll have the Six of Wands as the outcome. The Six of Wands is the card of a victory, the card of a success, and back in the day the Six of Wands was the, called the card of a proposal. So if this person did not screw you over too badly in the past, if they just, you know, got scared and ran away or there were other things in between the two of you, you couldn't be together for some reason, and if this person comes back around, then it could be worth your time to give this person another shot, because it could lead to potentially marriage. <laughs> or you will feel victorious about it anyway. Alright, so uh, this is the advice for you. Have a great month, Cancer. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.